welcome everyone and today I have a bit of a haul for you during the first week of the school holidays we went down to the south coast to visit family and of course I went and did some shopping as I wanted to support the local rural businesses that have done it tough especially during the bushfires and now during COVID and there's a little store down south in a little place called Mogo, a little town called Mogo, and it's called Amanda's of Mogo. She has a treasure trove of goodies there. She caters for all sorts of artists, scrapbookers, card makers, ah, mixed media. She's really into mixed media. So I decided to show my support of small rural country towns, and I went to... I don't know if you can see that. Amanda's of Mogo. She's at 41 Princess Highway, Mogo. And I got myself some goodies. Or I should say, I was given some lovely presents. So, <clears throat> one of the things that I got spoiled with was the new Distress Oxide and Spray. As well as the Embossing Powder from Tim Holtz, a new colour uh, called Speckled Eggs, Speckled Egg, so yes, I've been wanting to get my hands on those and my naughty friends got it for me, and then uh, this lovely little A2Z scraplet, which is an Aussie was a little chipboard place i think they're in queensland by the looks of things and it's this lovely little fishing thing and i also got the texture tools from tim from ranger so i was going to say tim holtz then but it's from ranger so it's six texture tools and i must admit i'm dying to see these i didn't know what they were going to be oh look it even comes with a little thing so i think i'm going to get rid of the packaging and what do we have here Oh, for mixed media. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Can you? Ooh. Anyway, there's that one. And there's that. Maybe it was better if I did it that way. Yeah, so different patterns. And, 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 and. And there's this one. Can you see that? And this other one here. I've noticed now it's also got it on the little side there too. So if you really want such a big area to texture. So I'm really looking forward to playing with these. And I love this one. It's got different, I don't know if you can see that, different little grooves there. So I will fix that up later off camera. And I got a... Um, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. There was different colours, but I decided to just go with white to see if I like them or not. And uh, the exciting bit. So I got um, it's a rubber art stamp. It's a deeply etched, and it's designed by Ryan. Now, love this Ryan Tanker. There you go. So, supporting me, I love, it's, it's more for a background, but it's, it's water effects. That's what I'm looking for, water effects. So, I saw that. It's a big stamp, but <laughs> I just couldn't resist that. And this is a Dusty Attic chipboard, also an Australian product. And this is, it just says, love these photos. So as much as I wasn't going to buy any more chipboard, I did fall to into temptation. And I also got this stencil from the Crafters Workshop. I just loved that whole little messy, I don't know where they are, little squares, speckled look. Don't know, but I liked that. And it's very bad when you are shopping with someone and they're saying you just, every time I looked at something that I liked, she was a bit naughty and she said yes yes and um she just put it in the cart so i got very very spoilt but i did get to support a small well 
a small town. And then I, and I got these little sheep dies from Paper Roses. And Paper Roses is also an Australian designer. So as I have sheep here on, on our property, I'm looking forward to doing something with that. And I also fell in love with this. Other, this is another Paper Roses uh, die. And look at that. Can you see that? Mm -mm. It's like little brickwork, but I love that it's all uneven. So it's going to be good for a male layout. And then I saw this. And it's got all these pipe works. It's a Kaiser Craft one. And I just thought, ooh, I like that. Because my husband's a plumber. So it's going to go on a, if I ever do any layouts about my husband. But this one here, I'm just trying to see if this is an Australian designer or not. I hope it is. Um, I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't really say. So, anyway. I look forward to playing with my goodies. Oh, so that is what I got at Amanda's. And just before we left, I also found these lovely little mini punches at Officeworks. Look at that. Aren't they cute? A little circle, love heart, a butterfly, a little flowery thing. So I spoiled my, I bought those for myself. These all the other stuff were a gift. All these ones I bought for myself at Officeworks. This one's got this little cupcake, another little cupcake, another little flower, a little star, and a balloon. Um, I really just wanted the star and the flower. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other two. But hey, you never know. And I did love the love heart, the circle, little flower, and the butterfly. So in this one... I only just wanted those two, but unfortunately I had to buy the whole lot. But that's the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? Anyway, I might be able to gift the balloon and the cupcake, or I might be able to do something with them in, I don't know, her birthday layout. Who knows? That is my haul, and thank you all so much, and I hope to see you all soon.